Hello and welcome to our Year 9 Options Information Presentation. My name is Gary Rogers and I'm Associate Head Teacher here at Coombe Boys School. During the course of this presentation, I will briefly be outlining the Key Stage 4 curriculum and taking you and your sons through the school's options process. The curriculum in Year 10 and Year 11 is carefully planned, well designed and well sequenced. We are extremely ambitious for all of our students and our curriculum matches that ambition. It is broad and balanced in nature and is truly accessible to all students. Over the course of year 10 and 11, your son will study a range of compulsory subjects which will prepare them effectively for their next steps in education, training or employment. And there will also be some optional subjects that your son can choose from. GCSEs are now graded, graded on a one to nine scale, with nine being the top end of this scale. Over the last few years, there has been some reforms to the GCSEs that have made them more academically rigorous, with additional, more challenging content being added to the courses, with some of this content being dropped down from A level. There's an increased focus on spelling, punctuation and grammar, and also an increased focus on extended writing and literacy. GCSEs now culminate in an exam at the end of year 11, which is classed as a linear examination. These examinations for most courses are 100% assessed through this exam at the end of year 11. The grading structure, as can be seen in this graphic with the new grading structure on the left hand side and the old grading structure of the A star to G on the right, you can clearly see that grade four is now the standard pass at GCSE and a grade five is now classed as a good pass. And the grade five would sit between the old B and C grade. In maths and English, the benchmark of a grade four is very important, as if this is not achieved, then students will have to continue to study these subjects and resit them again and sit exams in them again during the course of the sixth form. As I said, we are extremely ambitious for all of our students and cater for every student's needs. As a result of that, we offer a range of BTEC courses for students to choose as part of their options subject choices. These provide experiences and apply the learning and skills learnt within lessons to a more work-based context. They are assessed mainly through assignments, which are completed in school, with an external examination at the end of year 11, that's a much smaller percentage than the 100% linear exams you have in GCSEs. And these qualifications are awarded at a pass, merit, distinction, and distinction star, which are equivalent to GCSE. So your son will study a number of compulsory subjects, and these are English language, English literature, mathematics, the separate sciences of biology, chemistry, physics, or combined science. Mr. Jameson, assistant head teacher and head of science, has put together a short video outlining how they will guide your son through these option choices in science and guide them to the right course for them. Your son will also study a modern foreign language, either French, German, or Spanish, and they then choose a humanities subject of geography or history. They will also have lessons in PE each week, but these are non-examined. There's also a range of option subjects for them to choose from. And as I said, there we have a number of BTEC courses available to students, and these are in business studies, media studies, sports studies, and digital information technology. The vast majority of students will be asked to choose two option subjects alongside some reserve. It's really important at this stage, when your son is choosing his courses for Key Stage 4, that he also looks a little bit beyond, beyond that and tries to think ahead. It's really important that he considers what he enjoys doing and what subjects he enjoys. It's also worth considering what he might want to study in the sixth form. And it's okay for them not to know at the age of 13 or 14 exactly what they do want to be or what they do want to study. So looking at what they enjoy doing is really, really important. If they do know what they want to study in the sixth form, then it's where possible, we suggest it's important that they study a subject at GCSE level if they did want to go on to take that subject at level three as an A level or a BTEC. And at Coombe, we find it very, very important to ensure that students develop strong study habits, creating independent learners, making sure they have good literacy skills and those extended writing skills that we talked about earlier. 
So looking ahead slightly um, for a few moments towards the Coombe 6 form. The results at Coombe 6 form are excellent. Almost a third of all entries are graded A star to A and almost 80% of all entries are graded at A star to C. The 6 form is very popular and offers a range of A level and B tech courses at level 3s. It's possible also for students to combine some A level courses with a B tech qualification. And the minimum entry requirements for the Coombe 6 form are five GCSEs graded at, graded at nine to four. So it is important to just think ahead slightly to what comes after key stage four when making your option choices. So as we said, consider what your son enjoys doing. It really is the important part of the thinking process. Are there any six form plans that they're aware of? If not, discuss this with them, have an opportunity to have that conversation and think ahead as to what they enjoy and what they may want to do as they move through the school sixth form and into university in the world of work. It's very, very important that the choices are independent choices, choices they made themselves, but also informed choices, and they're not teacher and friend driven. And it's also very important, just consider what assessment procedures suits your son's style of learning and your son's better, whether that's 100% linear GCSE exams, or whether some BTEC courses where they are more assignment based may work best for your son. So what might a timetable look like at key stage four? This is an example that I've put together. So the compulsory subjects of English language and English literature, maths, the science, either combined or separate, and I said before, that's guided by um, your science teachers. This person has chosen the humanities subjects of history and they've been studying Spanish during the course of Key Stage 3, so have chosen Spanish as their language. Many of you may have heard of something called an English Baccalaureate Award. And this is a broad academic qualification that's strongly recommended at Coombe and these subjects would qualify your son for this English Baccalaureate. Many universities consider this essential to be studying at a degree level and it also helps provide greater opportunities for your son in further education and it keeps their options open for further study and also for further careers. And it's something that we strongly recommend here at Coombe. There are also two option choices available to your son for the vast majority of students. And this person has chosen computer science and music. Where possible, we always try to ensure that students have their first choice combination of subjects. However, where this is not possible, it is very important that we have reserved choices that your son has had a careful think about and chosen carefully. And these must be subjects that he would be willing to take at GCSE level. And these reserve option choices, this person has chosen geography and also a BTEC in sports studies. So this is what somebody's timetable could look like when they start year 10. Alongside that, they also have the core PE lessons every week as well. The options process at Coombe is supported by a range of information and guidance for parents and students to ensure that the choices they make for their subjects at year 10 and 11 are informed choices. We have an option booklet which is on the website and will also be emailed out to parents. And this has all the information you need to be able to make and support your son in making the correct choices for him in year 10 and year 11. There are also a number of subject videos on the website which are well worth watching as well, which give you greater information um, regarding the content and assessment of those subjects. Next week, during the 17th to the 21st of January, we have our Year 9 Careers Education Information and Guidance Week. This is where each subject will talk through the uh, subject in Year 10 and Year 11, uh, and whether it's a GCSE or a vocational BTEC, um, they will discuss the content of the curriculum in Year 10 and 11, and also the assessment that goes alongside uh, within that, and whether it's exam-based, assignment-based, etc. There's also assemblies for Year 9 next week where new subjects such as media studies and business studies will do a short presentation um, to all the boys to let them know what the content and assessment procedures for those subjects are. On the 19th of January, we have our Year 9 Parent Carer Progress Evening. Uh, that's online between 4 and 7 p.m. And that more information regarding that will be coming out in the near future. That's an opportunity for parents and students to be online to discuss 
um, with their teachers their current progress, but also to ask questions uh, and really ensure that they are clear what the courses entail for year 10 and 11 to make sure those choices they're going to make on their options form are very, very informed choices. Uh, and the deadline for the options forms, which is all done on an online process, is the 4th of March. The option forms that we use, as I said, are online, and these will be sent to your son's email, school email address on Friday the 28th of January. We work very hard when um, constructing the Year 10 um, curriculum timetable to ensure that as many boys as possible have their first choice combinations and the first choice of subjects. Um, and last year and the year before, we have pretty much had virtually all of the students' choice combinations, the first choices, um, been able to accommodate those within the um, structure of the timetable. However, what we do ask is that uh, students identify some reserve choices just in case their first choice option isn't available for whatever reason. And it's really important this takes place uh, and the reserve choices are um, indicated on the options form. Uh, and it's important that your son is happy to study these subjects if for whatever reason they're one of their first choice subjects isn't available. So the online options forms um, will come out, as I said, on the 28th of January. Um, once the deadline has passed for those, so the 4th of March, once we've asked all of those in the deadline of the 4th of March, we will email parents to confirm the choices that have been entered onto the form. Uh, we're unable to guarantee any course changes after Easter, so it's important that students do really consider what they do want to do um, in year 10 and 11 and make those informed choices. Alongside all the information and advice I've talked about um, during the course of this presentation, we also have a wealth of support within school um, from this point onwards for um, students to access. Uh, the first port of call and a good starting place for that is their tutors. They can do that during um, registration time um, and there'll be a number of conversations um, being uh, taking place during the course of the next few weeks around the options, choices and subjects, choices for year 10 and 11. Mrs McGinty is the head of year. Mrs Morris, the deputy head teacher who um, supports with year nine. Mrs King, our special educational needs coordinator and also their subject teachers, which they can go and ask additional information to if they so wish to. So thank you for watching the presentation. We hope um, this information and the rest of the information on the website is useful and informative and enables you yourself and your son to ensure that they are making the informed choices that they need to for their subjects in year 10 and year 11.